Thanks for dropping in. Last month, I introduced the Barrel Cooper's Puzzle Box, which challenges the solver to uncover multiple hidden compartments and retrieve a missing solution plaque. By request, I'm releasing a new version, a two-thirds scale mini barrel that requires less hardware and comes with a few possibly evil new tricks. This video will contain spoilers for solving both puzzles, so if you don't want to learn the secrets behind either of them, this is your chance to escape. Okay, that should do it. But before I walk you through solving this version, why did I call it possibly evil? The clearest example of this is the springy core from the full-sized version. The puzzle would snap into place in a few predefined locations, which clearly limits what solutions to try. The mini version offers no such guidance. Players will have to look and listen carefully to find more subtle hints that they're making any progress. Okay, let's get to solving. As before, the first goal is to remove the cork from the barrel. Someone familiar with the original copy will know to give the puzzle a quick slap on the bottom, which slides a metal pin and releases the cork. But the mini version doesn't quite work that way. There's still a metal pin, and you can even hear it when you give it a slap, but the cork itself is still stuck. That's because it will only be released when the bottom shell is rotated 90 degrees, so that this little indicator circle here is lined up with the cork. The pin falls into an additional hole in the bottom here, and the cork comes out. Here you can see the pin in the fully locked position. Here it is in the partially unlocked position. And there it is in the fully unlocked position. Now that we have the cork, we stick it in the hole in the front of the barrel and rotate just as before. And once this screw is partly removed, the center of the barrel once again can rotate. We're going to line the center of the barrel up with these little indicator lines, pull the screw out slightly, and then rotate it back in. In the old version, the act of rotating the screw eventually causes this bottom section to lift partly, indicating that something in the bottom lid is blocking the screw's path. But again, this version is slightly evil. You'll need to figure out through trial and error that if you rotate these two indicator lines together and keep on rotating, only then does the bottom of the puzzle come out. Keep on pushing the screw through. And now we're halfway done. The next step will be to remove the opposite lid, just like the full-size version of this puzzle. And you once again do that by lining all three of these indicator lines up together. Take the screw and push that back through the hole. This time it releases the top lid. And there we have our cute mini solution plaque. Next we reassemble everything by putting the screw back into the hole with these two indicator lines lined up and this one lined up with the cork hole. You may need to use the cork to push the screw back. Now rotate all the indicator lines so they line back up together. Push the screw in slightly, twist it back in, restore the top lid, restore the bottom lid, we want to put the cork back in, but if we just simply slap it, it's still in that partially locked position. So instead, we need this rotated once again for that indicator to line up with the locking pin. Give it the slap so it's fully unlocked. Place the cork in, line up these indicators again, and restore the solution plaque. And there we go. If you'd like to print your own copy, the files to this project, as well as a list of all required hardware needed, are available on Thingiverse. I heard from multiple makers who were unable to find the correct size bolts, springs, or other hardware for this original design. Fortunately, with this new mini version, you can use anything from an M3 bolt all the way up to an M5, or in Imperial measurements, anything from a 1 8 inch to 3 16 inch. As long as the bolt is about 50 millimeters long, or you can go a little bit shorter than that, um, it doesn't matter, just make sure you select the correct file for the bolts that you're going to use. This design also doesn't require any springs at all, so that's one less thing to have to worry about. Assembly is approximately the same as the original, so here are just the highlights without going into too much detail. To snap the hoops onto the bottom and top shells, and in the middle shell, 
just glue in a small three millimeter cylinder magnet. You also need the small steel dowel pin, which just goes into the hole here in the middle shell. Place the magnet facing up toward the top shell. And of course, the bottom shell goes on the bottom. Take your bolt and slide it into the center core and tighten that with a lock nut. It needs to be a lock nut because otherwise it will unscrew itself as you're solving the puzzle. You want the lock nut to be loose enough that all three of these sections can rotate independently, but tight enough that it doesn't feel sloppy. The rest of the assembly is just the solution backwards. Once again, because of this tricky dowel pin, you will need to rotate the bottom section until it falls into the hole so you can restore the cork. And there you go. I hope you've enjoyed the mini version of this Barrel Cooper's Puzzle Box. Even if someone's already attempted to solve the larger version, I think this will still provide quite a challenge. And if it's the first time someone's tried to solve one of these barrel puzzles, I do think it could be kind of evil. Until next time, thanks for stopping by.